You see, it's something very key that you must understand when it comes to this coronavirus pandemic. You see, you have to ask yourself, why would an evil system try to save humanity? Let that sink in. You see, you have people that are atheists who say there is no God. Okay? Then you have these wicked government leaders who believe that they are God or that they work for some higher power that's giving them the power to be the world leaders in the first place. Okay? So you have to ask yourself, why would an evil system that works for that works for Satan, why would it want to keep us alive? Why would it tell us to stay inside? Why would they say that they are working for a cure for the um <clears throat> for the coronavirus why would they tell us that because why would evil try to save anybody and to the atheists why would you want to be saved if this is it there is no afterlife then you should just Wish that the coronavirus just take everybody out. And if a person is evil, they should wish that the coronavirus should just take everybody out and just kill up and kill up everybody and put an end to humanity. You see? So after speculating on that and analyzing, I've come up with this. When somebody who is evil, when they help to keep you alive, it's to their benefit. They keeping you alive for their benefit. Because think about it. Why else would an evil group of people try to save everybody? Oh, we're going to put an end to this coronavirus and we're hoping by the end of the year everything is going to get great for everybody now mind you these are the same people the same warmongers who lie to us on the television who lie to us through the media who brainwash us who poison the water who vaccinate us why all of a sudden now would they be trying to save everybody and the only logical answer to that is because it's to their benefit just like if somebody kidnaps somebody like the recent sex scandals of the sex trade that you've been hearing about in the uh, the media with the uh, the Harvey Weinstein and others like him. If somebody kidnaps you. They don't usually kidnap you just to kill you. It's to serve a purpose. Either they're going to keep you as a sex slave. Or they'll just keep you as a slave period. There has to be a reason why somebody would want to keep you alive. An evil person. <clears throat> There has to be a reason why they want to keep you alive. And that is the reason. The reason is, it's to serve their benefit. That's exactly what it is. Because as soon as they get this coronavirus thing to a minimum and they say, Okay, public, everything is okay now. You can go back to your jobs. Everything is back to regular, 
broadcasting. As soon as they say that, guess what? The problems that existed in the world before the coronavirus will still be there. So then you got to ask yourself, okay, if they were so worried about saving everybody from the coronavirus, then why after the coronavirus, they don't fix the other problems in the world? You see, after the coronavirus, if you had debt, guess what? You're still going to have debt. They still going to be like, oh, you owe us money. We still uh, charging interest on your loan. They still going to say that. <clears throat> After the coronavirus, you think they're going to stop poisoning the water? You think they're going to stop with the chemtrails? You think they're going to stop brainwashing your kids and yourself? You think they're going to stop that? So what is all of that telling you? Is saying that they are keeping you alive for their benefit. Because why else would an evil person want to keep these humans alive? You see? Because, mind you, if they found another colony of human beings somewhere on another planet, and it was less trouble enslaving them than the humans on this planet. If it was less trouble brainwashing them, you know what they would say? And if they had the means to leave this earth, to fly to some other earth in our solar system, you know what they would do? They would kill everybody that they left behind. They would be like, to hell with these people. We found another colony that's, that's even more conducive to what we trying to do. So you earth beings on this planet earth to hell with y'all. We don't care about the coronavirus wiping you out because they will have more slaves. Remember. In this thing. The HPB realm. <clears throat> you are the bank account. You are the investment. Your soul. See, once you reach a, a high level of power where the elitists sit, money is nothing to them. You see, the money currency changes from coins and dollar bills to the actual soul of people. That's how they do their currency. They trade with souls. You are the form of currency. So saying that to say this. If they found another colony somewhere. They would just throw you to the, to the side. You would be like pennies to them. Because they could find somebody else. Where they. Who if they found someone else who was. Uh, less work to enslave. You know what they would do. Like any other investor. They would make the smartest investment. You know what they would say? It's less energy trying to enslave the, the new people in this colony than those old slaves on planet Earth. So let's just let the coronavirus wipe them out. That's what they would say. <clears throat> just like if you had billions of dollars like a Bill Gates or someone like that. If someone stole $100 from you, you wouldn't fight. Even if you've seen them, uh, say if you dropped a hundred dollars out of your folder or something, and you seen someone pick it up, and they ran off with it, it's just a hundred dollars. You would you would be like, oh, that ain't nothing to you. You got billions of dollars. You wouldn't fight nobody, put your life in jeopardy. You don't know what that person got. They could have a knife or a gun. You wouldn't put yourself in jeopardy trying to retrieve a hundred dollars when you're worth billions. So saying that <clears throat> to say these people on this earth, you are all they have right now. But I'm just saying if they had some people that were an easier investment, where they had to put out less energy, they would just let you all just die. So saying all of that to say they don't care about you. 
You just an investment for their benefit. So when you see the government, so when you see them on a podium saying stuff like, oh, we're getting this under wraps and the people clapping. Oh, let's just stand together as good American citizens and all of that. It ain't because they love you. They don't care about us. What love has to do with it? It's not about love. It's about what you can do for me at this very moment. <laughs> That's what it's about. Because trust me, if they found another species or life form that they can parasite off of, that they can build their egos upon, but it was less work, they would have been gone. They would have been let, just let us die out. Because trust me, this coronavirus thing is real, people. This is no hoax. This is real. People are dying and people are getting infected at an alarming rate. The state of California has been shut down. In China, they, they quarantine people to their houses. I heard they about to start doing that here in America. The president, uh, he gave a, uh, an address today. He was talking about um, restrictions, border restrictions. So yes, so yes, it's real. <clears throat> this is not a game. This is real out here. Now, some people say, oh, it's a distraction. But what do we say on this channel? Everything they do is a distraction. A distraction from what? Who the smart ones? Everything they do <clears throat> Everything they do is an is a distraction. But a distraction from what? It's a distraction from what? It's a distraction from the secret wars of us versus them. So everything they do is a, that's the distraction. Us versus them. What we talk about on this channel, have you noticed? Nobody else speak about this. Look all on YouTube. Nobody else talking about this. Nobody is telling you about the secret wars. Nobody on the news agenda. You got other people saying things like oh the government is doing this to distract us from a and b but they're not telling you that it's the secret wars that they are distracting you from see this is the baseline of what everything in this world is built upon us versus them united souls versus them trivial humans establishing mayhem that's what it all boils down to so I'm just doing this video to let you people know, don't get caught up in this false sense of camaraderie during this time that we live in. Because those same people that's telling you they working so hard behind the scenes to end the coronavirus, they the same people that when they get this thing under some leverage, they the same people who going to be putting the same shit back upon you. So don't get lullaby to sleep under this false pretense of goodness that they be portraying. It's false. Nobody's coming together for nothing. Soulless and the soul can never come together. The unsold and the sold, they don't come together. They don't join hands together. They don't sing Kumbaya together. We're not on the same team as them. <clears throat> so this video is just letting you know it's proof that the only reason why they telling you that they trying to get a vaccination or they working on a cure for the coronavirus is for their benefit. So I'm, all of this is saying that 
is proving what we say that the human prison bar system or realm is parasitical in nature and they need you in order to survive that's why they want to keep you alive because you give them the ego boost see everything in this world is driven by your ego and I've spoken on that before People are driven by their ego. And in order for an evil motherfucker to feel like he's above somebody else, he has to have somebody else to feel like he's above, to make him feel like something. You see, an evil person, he can't get close to God. So the closest he can get to feeling like he's close to a supreme deity is by making himself feel like a supreme deity. And that's why he need you to exist because he is disconnected from God. So he needs something to make him feel like he's risen above everybody else. And that makes that and that fills that empty void inside of him which is caused by the disconnection that they have from the true God. So a person that's disconnected from the true God, <clears throat> he fills that void of being disconnected from the true God by boosting up his ego and through materialism. He becomes materialistic. And he fills that void of disconnection up with materialism and by enslaving people. It make him feel like he's something, like he has accomplished something. While on the other hand, us, the United Souls, we feel accomplished just by getting this type of information, just by hearing a left side of the brain video, just by knowing that this confirms what we already knew inside of us. Like me, I got bored with this world today. And you know what I did? I said, I'm about to address the situation to the Jaguar community. And this is fulfilling me. This is not materialism. I'm not getting no money off of this. I'm not enslaving anybody by saying this. But this is better than an ego boost. An ego boost comes at the at the um, expense of somebody else's suffering. Oh, I'm better than him because he drives a lesser car than me. I got a better car or I got better clothes. Those people are egotistical. They shallow. <clears throat> So that's why they want to keep us alive. To benefit their own egotism. And that's what this whole system is about. Ego at the end of the day. People will kill for their ego. Rob. Rape. Whatever they got to do to keep their ego driven. To keep themselves feeling better than everybody else. Because again, in this human prison bar realm, the ego is their bank account. The ego of them feeling like they better than you. Oh, I'm, I'm better than this next person with a soul. I'm, the, I'm their boss. I can just boss them around. I'm better than this person. I can shove him around. I got to prove myself better than him to show him that I'm the boss and to show me that, yeah, I am the boss when I look at myself in the mirror. That's why they keep us alive. It's not the benefit. It's not the benefit us it's to benefit them. And the, and the last thing, they want to keep us alive because... It's this relationship. It's this slave and master relationship they have. They like when you have to come to them and beg for crumbs out of their hand. They like that. They get a boost out of it. That's why independence is so important, man. That's why I am the way I am. An independent thinker is one who does not supply the ego fuel pipeline of the ego 
driven individual. See, when you're independent and you think for yourself and you be a, and you be to yourself all the time and you you doing like I'm doing right now and you just sitting back and becoming an observer, like I always say, become an observer. When you do things like that, you're not allowing them to feed off of you. Independence. And that's why they don't want people to be independent. That's why they don't that's why they don't like independent thinkers. It's very dangerous to the human prison ball realm to be an independent thinker. Because it's the very opposite of what the uh, human prison bar system is about. The human prison bar system is, a, is about collective thinking, having everybody as group thinkers. You get what I'm saying? But I'm going to leave y'all with that, let that marinate. But that's the reason why they want to keep y'all alive. <coughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. I did. I love, you know, discussing it. Um, hit the likes button, hit the subscribe button until we do this again. I'm about to upload this. Tell me what y'all think in the comment section. Leave your thoughts about um, what you think about the coronavirus as it relates to the HPB realm. That'll be very interesting to read those comments. And I've been seeing some comments from the past video. I haven't had the chance to address them yet. So just bear with me. It's been a lot going on, you know, out here in the world today. And I've been kind of busy. But still leave your comments and I'm going to get to them when I get the chance. In the meanwhile, I'll be reading them and still working on the book. The goal is still to have the book finished sometime in April. And then I'm going to start an editing process, um, working on the book cover. And we're going to have this book out for your purchase by um, late spring to early summer. All right. Tell me what y'all think. This Left Side of the Brain signing out. Jaguars up.